from the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park, the show has an NL East matchup. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. And see the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Ronald Acuna Jr. He leads the team and wins above replacement, so most days you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys. Yeah, bro, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. He's just having a really nice year. And that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him. And they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here. Showing the slab in today's game, Francisco Morales. What's the scouting report on him? Boog, eight solid innings this last time out, picked up the win. See what he's got today. If he plays catch with his catcher the way he did, doesn't shake off, I think we'll see more of the same. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Albies struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. That misses the zone, and this one is off and running. First pitch, 706. Next offering is down low. Ball two. two. Ball, no And it goes just foul. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. The pitch. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. Batting second, the first baseman, John Nagowski. So now to the plate for Atlanta, John Nagowski. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. Whoa. And the slider just misses. And the pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll circle the bases, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. How is that fastball out of here? And next for Atlanta, Ronald Acuna Jr. Big time that power. The center fielder, number 13. Swings through that one. A goal and one. Junior. Next pitch misses way outside. Next pitch misses, two and one. Back-to-back -back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Next offering upstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. 
He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. The punch out there, down on strikes, and he knew it. Y'all just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Austin Riley. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The 1 0. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. And he deals. And a count one and two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering way off the plate. The wind and the pitch. Got it. And that's the third out. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now one nothing. We go to the bottom of the first, and our pitcher in this game, Clayton Kershaw. Singy always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the hitters are able to adapt to him today. Leading up for the Phillies, the designated hitter, Brandon Jordan. Pitch. Called strike right there. Kershaw fires. And that one missing low. One and one. And a one one. And that one fouled off. And now the lefty oh, just right misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that yeah, one almost down. got him. Three, and here's a 3-2. And that one fouled off. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now here is Harper. Here's the pitch, run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Tag. Save. Stolen base. Darn no too late for the throw. Looks like they're trying to answer back on that run they gave up at the top of the first by being aggressive on the base pass. I like that, especially early in this ball game. Be aggressive while you can and see if it leads to some type of big inning. Kershaw checks on the runner. He's, and he's back in easily. At the belt and fires. Hey. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Runner at second. Nobody out. The 
first offering misses. And that's ball one. one ball. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Rip to short. Swanson fires yeah. over to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Good time now for the Phillies lineup. They've had a great year offensively, as good an offensive team as you will find. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Chris Bryant stands in here, leaves that one down. Jordan, the runner at second with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his break the ball today. The pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Gene Segura at the plate Back here. And, and Boog, I'd say he's big due. Gene Segura. Pitch nope. misses inside. And that is ball one. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Runner at second, two down. In the air to left center, and that will end the inning. Philly strand one, and it remains one nothing. Wearing a cape and apron So I ain't saving you a cleaner house Do you think that's just a statement? Then you ludicrous like it's word of mouth I ain't new to what Top of the second Adam Duvall at the play Leading off for Atlanta The right fielder, number 14 Adam Duvall And the pitch that catches the zone for a strike. That's strike one. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. And here it comes. Fouled off. He was late. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One gone here. Dansby Swanson good. stands in. Good Dansby Swanson. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and deals. 
Line drive, Adam in center field. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly Adam, all Adam. over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard Adam. and right at someone. Oh, no. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. First offering, misses the ball. And the 1 0. There's your strike. Righty delivers. That one misses, and that's ball three. Two down, nobody on. That one pushed foul. The wind of the pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he that earned again. that walk. The left field Here's Marcelo field. Zuna. Marcelo so, so Zuna. First pitch, and he just misses. Next one misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. There are very few counts in today's game where you can just full-on expect fastball. I mean, even 2-0. Perfect example right there. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left for Atlanta, and they lead it one to nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, bottom of the second. And now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos. The right fielder, Nick Castellanos. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And oh, misses inside. inside. The pitch. Oh, that's Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson, a consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone, but once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. The 2-0 is in for a strike. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Here's the 2-2. And another ball. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys nicknames hometowns and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great that just is a it. cookie down the middle the I mean, those are the ones you dream about Three. ones in the cage you're just hoping you oh, get in the yeah. ball game. right down the middle not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it and it's reese hoskins up to the dish this is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs That one is absolutely belted. Back there. And it is gone. He crushes that one to center field. Over number 25 of the year. And they jump out front. It's 2-1.
for a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. This Trevor Story now. Batting seven. Not shortstop. First oh, pitch doesn't run. find the zone. It can be Go tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And a pitch. To third. Riley fires the first. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Batting eight. The catcher. Get ready. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Garrett Stubbs. And that's in there for strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch downstairs. One and one. Left-hand batter waits. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Batting nine. The center fielder. Jim Hurl. This is Simone Muziati. First offering, and it just misses. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. And that balls, skips into dirt. Kershaw the 2 1. And a swing to miss. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. Lifted in the air out to left. Ozuna should have this one. Makes the catch in a goal. But the Bills get two on this blast. And it's now a 2 1 ball game. Here's Orlando Arcia. There you see his May and June Moving numbers so Orlando, far. The designated hitter, Orlando Arcia. Here comes a pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The 1-0. And fouled off. The nope. next pitch misses, and that's ball two. The count is two and one. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. And the count is even, two and two. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and the still laid on it. You rarely Second see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. So the batting order turns over. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. 0 for 1 so far. Pitch misses inside. 1-0.
Righty to the plate. Bound back our way, and that's out of play. The 1-1. One, one. And that one is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's going to be John Nagowski. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, just misses. Swing and a miss. One ball, one and it's one and one. The wind of the pitch. And now two balls and a strike. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Here's a 2-2. And now the count filled up 3-2. and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. 3-2 on the way. Hit weakly on the ground. Can't love it cleanly. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. The center field, the field. Oh, the field. Mm. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. In there for strike one. Nagowski, the runner at first with two gone. Oh, and two now. Just missed. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. One and two now on Acuna. And that one lifted in the air center field. And that one actually would be grabbed by Story. Braves strand one. And they trail it here, two to one. Just bounce to that. Everybody wanna come, I'm announcing it. I'm always gonna get it, I'm always gonna get it. Even if it's back at Citizens Bank Park as we go to the last of the third. Here and here's the Phillies leadoff man, Brandon That's Jordan. Jordan. Brandon Jordan. Kershaw back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. And that drops in for a strike. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. And the 0-2. Ball one Down there. One and two. The pitch. Got him looking. 
One gone, bottom of the third inning. Oh, man, just locked him up with that slider, even though it caught no a lot of the zone. And I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for Burn. in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Here's Harper in there. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. Swings over the top of that one. And a strike. And he chases that one. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. Now I'm back. sure he'd love to strike now out the side base here. Base. Make a little statement, Red. but you've got to be composed Run in this again. spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. You want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Here's Chris Bryant now. One, no First time. pitch, not close. The lefty, the 1-0. And Ball, that misses right off the outside edge. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Aye. The 2-0 is in for a strike. We got two balls, one strike. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Stays alive. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Hank cuffed him with that slider. Three up, three down, inning over. Phillies down in order as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Back here in Philadelphia, start of the fourth. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Austin Ryland. Austin. Whoa. Pitch. There's the strike. On one. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0 2. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Yeah, the batter now, Adam Duvall. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering misses, and now 2-0. and He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. The next offering misses. Ball three. Three ball, no strike. And a pitch. And a four-pitch walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boog. Last one wasn't even now close. Batting. 
Now, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first round pick for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. First offering, misses the mark. And here it comes. Swings and misses. One and, one. and it's one and one. Duvall stands at first with one out. And one and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. In the air right side. Great swing. Two down. Up next for a down. The catcher, Travis Darnell. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Darnell. First offering misses badly for ball one. And the 1-0. Oh. Yeah, there's the strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Pickoff throw, and he just got his hand in there. That hits the dirt. Two balls and a strike. At the belt and fires. In the air, right field. And that'll do it. One left for Atlanta. They're down two to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here is Gene Segura. The second baseman. Gene Segura. That's outside. Ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance-wise. Yeah, Boo, great pitchers like this. You may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ballgame. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Late swing, fouled off. One, two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's a one, two. Good eye right there. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Comes the two, two. This one lifted in the air, left field. Ozuna racing over to make the catch. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front now on that pitch away right and wasn't able to stay close. Tough day. No, no. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And he swings and misses at the initial offer.
Next one misses, and it's a ball and a strike. A wind in the pitch. That's and it is two and a one. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Slapped foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Next pitch is outside. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Up the middle, that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. 17, three, Hoskins. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. In there, and it's 0-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he could never predict baseball. The 0 1. Ground ball left side, and that's just foul. Comes a pitch. Stays alive. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's two down. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from Hell head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series. And we're just two games in, so hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Here's Trevor Storm. Rounded out his first time up. And the first offering is not close. Next Whoa, pitch misses man. inside, and it's 2-0. And 2-0 is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Swings through that high fastball. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Castellanos off of first with two away. And there's a the ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Next offering is fouled back.
And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One left for Philadelphia. They still lead it 2-1. to one. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Now in for the Braves. Marcelo Zuna. The left fielder, number 20. Marcel Ozuna. And a pitch. Ball and one. ball one. Count one and oh. Righty delivers. Inside, oh, just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. The 2-1. Foul ball. And now two and two. That one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Little chopper rolls foul. And a pitch. Next offering is outside. Hard hit down the line and left. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. The throw into second. Save. Oh, he's safe. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. He did a really good work out there on the mound. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. So here's the Braves' designated hitter, Orlando Arcia. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And the 0 1. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. No outs, runner on second. Swing it is. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Albies up to bat next, lays off for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. So the tying run is second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Way inside, gets out of the way. Runner leads away at second. Mm. Okay. Just misses there. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off.
One out and a runner at second. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. And there's two away. Not afraid to throw it right there. That's trusting your stuff. Just run out of ways to get out of a huge jam. So now to the plate for Atlanta. John Nagowski. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. And a foul ball. Ball to strike. And he pumps it a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Pitch misses there, and the count's even at two. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Next pitch is outside. And it's second. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Braves one. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning and digging in for Philadelphia. Garrett Stubbs. The catcher. Well, on yeah, paper, right. it's favorable to have a fairly oh. quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. In the air, right field, Duvall under it and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. <laughs> now batting. The center field. Oh. And now for the Phillies, Simone Muziati. Fly to left his first time up. In there for strike one. The wind of the pitch. And now the count is even. Left-hand batter waits. Out to short. Swanson gloves it. Fires across the diamond. And a couple of quick outs. Up next for Philadelphia, the designated hitter, Brandon Jordan. So the lineup flips over. So here's the Phillies DH, Brandon Jordan. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. There's a swing and a drive. That one's carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. Down quickly, go the Phillies. They lead it 2 1. Take a better stand. Concentrate in my balance. Give life a better chance. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. All right, we go to the top Moving half the of play. inning number six. And number here 13. is Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. To kick the pitch. They say it went. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. Here's the 0-2. Now 
That one That's missed. One and two. They're all set to throw pitch number 100. He needs a quick inning here if he's going to be able to make it through six complete. Deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Austin Riley. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in Wong. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. On the ground to the left. Bryant throw to first in time. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. It's the right fielder, number 14, Adam Duvall. Now it's the right fielder, Adam Duvall. And the first pitch misses for ball one. You now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. And the righty deals. And the 1 0 -oh misses low. On a line out towards center. Lucy Adams makes the catch, and that'll do it. 2 3 4 2 up in the home half of the six. It's the Phillies 2 and the Braves 1. Back here at the ballpark, John Chappie with Chris Singleton in the booth, and leading off the bottom of the six, Bryce Harper. The left fielder, Bryce Harper. Kershaw back to work. That clips the corner. Well, an at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Left hand hitter waits. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Nagowski settles under it and makes the catch. And a quick out, number one. Now batting, the third baseman, Red. And now, oh, yeah. Chris Bryant. First offering misses the mark. And there's the strike. I think he was sitting off speed there. The pitch. And a count one and two. And he deals. And a curve misses outside. The pitch. This one smoked out to left. Ozuna brings it in. And there are two down. Now back, second baseman. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 
Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. And a foul ball. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Back to the mound. All these collects. Gets it easily, ends the inning. Phillies go down quietly in the inning as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead. Sam Kunra on the pitch out of the pen here. Now he'll work on holding this lead. Number 54, Sam Kunra. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Dansby Swanson. The shortstop. Dansby Swanson. Yeah, the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The tying run at the plate. And it's even up. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Sir Anthony Dominguez up and throwing. Alvarado warming up as well. And the right hater deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Dansby Swanson hits one out. And we're level. It's 2-2. Two -two. Most times it's the pitcher looking at the scoreboard for velocity, but in this case it's the hitter. He just turned around triple digits at the dish. I don't even know how he saw that pitch. Maybe he didn't, but he got a home run out of it. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Dardo. Swings through that one. 0-1. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. Just a slow ground ball this time. Hoskins picks it up. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. The left fielder, number 20, Marcel Ozuna. Marcelo Zuna, next up for the Braves. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And first offering is fouled off. Foul ball there. And the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 0-2. Stays alive. Going oh, two now. One ball. Two strikes. That's inside. Oh, Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next pitch, way upstairs. 
At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Uh-oh, that got him. And the potential winning run is aboard. Now that can happen when you're trying to dive out over the plate so you can control the outer half. Very difficult to get out of the way of good velocity in. And there's a foul ball. Deal one. Fought off foul. Deal two. Oh. In the dirt. Rose down to first, but he wasn't going anywhere. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Kicks and fires. And ball four, two aboard. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0-2 and you just couldn't find a way to put Second him away. Easy. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And first offering is fouled off. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. The next pitch misses. Down one and two. Two. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up if they can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. So up next, John Nagowski. He's already homer here in this one. Late swing fouled off. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, and two now. Out towards right center field. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. One run across. The relay to the plate. Tag safe at home. And they take a two-run lead. These guys today are so great with handling now, velocity. They're the seeing speed. high speeds yeah. day after day. And a nice yeah. job of turning that one around. Yeah. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Carlos Rojo. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Line drive. And that'll get down for a base hit. Nagowski around third. Rose to second. Runner from second scores as they add on. And they lead by three. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Braves five, and the Phillies two.
bottom of the seventh. Now it's going to be Nick Castellanos. The Phillies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff. He a good at bat out of him right here. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That one misses. Ball one. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. The next offering misses, and a count is 2-0. Action in the pen down there. Tyler Matson getting ready to go. Smith getting cranked up as well. The wind to kick the 2-0. Well struck right field. That one is gone. Nick Castellanos goes deep as they slice into the lead. It's 5 3. Oh, that one got the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. The first baseman. And now, Reese Hoskins. Hoskins. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. But he's got it deleted. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Now one and two to Reese. Out to short, Swanson handles. Zips it to first, one away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the home down battle. Not shortstop, Trevor Story. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. First pitch, not close. That's in there. That's strike one. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. That one sliced foul. And the 2 2. And another ball. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains 3 and 2. Pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because no, if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Kershaw will depart. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout, and we'll be back with a new pitcher. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Number 33, A.J. Minter. Here's the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. 
Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's steal, really... Steal. To first, and they've got him picked off. To second, and he's out. Pitch doesn't find the zone. Hit on the ground to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Bills do get one back on this solo home run. It's now 5-3. Back at Citizens Bank Park, and now Austin Riley. Leading off for Atlanta, the third baseman, Austin Riley. And a pitch. Rip to third. Can't field it cleanly, but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Now batting, right fielder, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall will hit next. And he swings and misses at the initial offer. At the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. Only two now. Ball one there. Kicks and deals. And now it's even up. Next offering is way upstairs. And now the lefty got him swinging. He chased the changeup. That's the second out. Got him out on the front foot. He couldn't keep the hands back long enough. And played right into the hands of the pitcher. And next for Atlanta, Dansby Swanson. He sent one out of here in the seventh. Yeah, big moment in this game as well. It was a great swing and one of the reasons why they're out in front and looking to add on right here. First off, bring it just misses. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Down in order, go the Braves. As they hang on to their 5-3 lead. Back here in Philadelphia, out of the bottom of the eighth. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Simone Muziati. The center fielder. Simbo, Muzi Hadi. 
And he deals. There's a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Kirby Yates getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. That one misses. And one and one. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. The one two. And that one wrapped foul. And a one two again. And now two and two. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a now great location by any means. That's hitter. typically a spot that Brand hitters hit. can handle. So sure I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Tyler Metzik will take over on the mound. Please. And he'll do his best now to hang on to this Atlanta. lead. Number 68, Tyler Metzik. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. The pitch. Good eye right there. Ground ball, base stop. Always feels amazing getting a job I'm done when the team needs you to come through. Oh, is bigger than your own what? individual stats. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Harper, the next to hit, takes ball one. Jordan leads off first with one away. And now two and nothing. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Left hand hitter waits. Misses with the 2 0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. And a pitch. And that's ball four. The outside of the bullpen can actually kill your momentum very quickly. There's hot yeah. water trying to protect his lead. First and second, one out. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Well, Boog, if you're that base runner second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. 
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. This is the zone, and the count even one and one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field, way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags and will move up to third. Swanson with a relay home. Here's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. Philly strand one. Still a two-run deficit. It's 5-3. Back here in Philadelphia, we go to the ninth. Now here is Travis Darno. Travis Darno. Rodon back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Next pitch is outside. This one in the air center field. Luciano settles underneath it. One down. Up for a ball, the left fielder, Marcel Ozuna. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Ozuna. Nope. First offering, misses the mark. Next one off the plate inside. Ball two. And that one off the outside edge. Here's a three up. Yeah, there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over the first. And next is the designated hitter, Orlando Arcia. First pitch doesn't find the zone. At the belt and fire. Oh, and now a wild pitch. Now a throw to first, but back easily. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Kicks and fires. Now fly ball to right center. Castellanos under it. Makes the grab and there's two goals. The battle number one. Cut the three. Albi. Albi. Now at the plate, Ozzy Albies. pitch and he just misses. Two outs. Two balls, no strikes to count. Ozuna leads off first with two down to the inning. Here's a swing and a drive left field and he knew it. A 
as he always goes yard. Home run number 20 on the year, and they add a couple more. It's 7-3. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted on this ball. Base is empty with two away. So now to the plate for Atlanta. John Nagowski. John Nagowski. Out to short. Story sends it over to first. And that'll do it. Albies with the key hit for Atlanta. It's now 7-3. I remember as a child, music made me smile. Some people called it rhythm and soul. I could never get enough of this kind of stuff. Because I think they call it rock and roll. But I said it wrong. Back no, now as they hand the ball to a fresh now, arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Jacob Webb 71. trying to protect this Jacob lead. Jacob Webb. Back here, Citizen Bank Park, all set for the bottom of the ninth. And now yeah, it's the cleanup spot Philly. for the Phillies. The Gene Segura. Gene Segura. Why to kick the pin? And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the play. Fouled off. He was late. Here's the 0-2. Tapped softly on the ground. Sends it to Nagowski. Segura out the play. The right fielder, number four. Wow, Siggy Statcast tells us he fired an absolute bullet to first. And it needed to be a bullet. Yeah, 87 miles per hour on a line build. And that's some heat from across the diamond. Really close play at first, but the ball just beat him to the back. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Oh, and the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1 0. That's to third. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Number station, number 17, Lee Hoskins. At the plate, Reese Hoskins, one for three. Stop bringing it just misses. Bullpen activity starting up now. Luke Jackson getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Smith, a left-hander, also throwing. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Righty delivers. And the one two misses to even the count. pushes a foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a good eye there.
swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now two out. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement, as you see right there. It really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. And at first, so digging in now for Philadelphia, Trevor Story. First pitch, just misses. Just one out away, try to close it out. Stays alive. Just one strike away. Swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, Hoop, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shumby. We'll see you soon.